Hi everyone, I'm delighted to take part in the S4D4C final networking meeting on science diplomacy. Although we can gather in person, this virtual event is an excellent opportunity to discuss the vital role of science diplomacy to address global challenges together. As we've all been keenly reminded of over the last year by the pandemic, our society's collective health and well-being is dependent on robust scientific knowledge and our ability to quickly and effectively harness that knowledge by industry to deliver concrete solutions. And it's not only about healthcare, whether it's tackling climate change or harnessing the power of artificial intelligence and supercomputing, applied scientific knowledge is the key to facing our most pressing challenges. We've also been reminded by COVID-19 that no single country can overcome these kinds of existential challenges alone. Scientific breakthroughs and their applications in the industry are swiftest and most effective when they are the fruit of cross-border collaboration and concerted, well-coordinated international initiatives. That's where science diplomacy comes in. It's crucial that we work together to foster collaboration between scientists, diplomats, policymakers, industry leaders, and other professionals by establishing robust channels for multilateral cooperation. We need to foster flexible, adaptable, and permeable environments for professionals of all kinds to collaborate in addressing global challenges and promoting sustainable development. Spain is strongly committed to international engagement in this area. We have integrated science diplomacy as one of the key priorities in both our new national research and innovation and foreign affairs strategies. We will support the creation and nurturing of a community of science diplomacy stakeholders in Europe and beyond. It's clear, however, that there are still many challenges that we face as we scale up our science diplomacy efforts including the training of specialized practitioners and their deployment to diplomatic missions around the world. In addition, science diplomacy as a field of study is relatively nascent. Increased research, analysis and the development of a body of best, best practices and success stories would be of great benefit for our community as a whole. There's no doubt that science transcends borders. Let's work together to ensure that research advances achieve their full potential.